Now that we know Donald Trump will return to the White House for another term as president, a looming question in Michigan is how it will affect the auto industry, and specifically the transition to EVs. MidMichigan Now's Mike Wolfolk gets insights from two experts who both agree the road forward will look different. I am proclaiming that by the end of my term, the entire world will be talking about the Michigan miracle and the stunning rebirth of Detroit. When Donald Trump is sworn in as president on January 20th, America will see major changes on many fronts, including policies that impact Michigan's auto industry. There are several pillars of this policy, which I think directly and indirectly affect the auto industry. Wayne State University business professor Merrick Masters believes Trump will move quickly to start delivering on campaign promises. He ran on a platform clearly that he wants to promote deregulation. That would include easing the corporate average fuel economy, or CAFE standards, which the Biden administration raised. Masters also points to plans to extend and possibly expand Trump's corporate tax cuts and push for more fossil fuel development, not less. On day one of the Trump administration, I will terminate Kamala's insane electric vehicle mandate, and we will end immediately the Green News scam once and for all. Detroit's big three and other automakers have been aggressively pursuing a conversion to EVs. Most have tapped the brakes on those plans. However, they continue to bring more electric vehicle models to market. But Trump and some auto workers believe EVs will cost jobs. Our industry, the automotive industry, is on the line. And it's not going to die on my watch when we got this man running for president. EVs require a lot fewer workers uh, to manufacture than a gasoline power car. University of Michigan Flint economics professor Chris Douglas says the EV conversion is a scary thing for auto workers, whose union officially endorsed Democrat Kamala Harris, but many union members supported Republican Donald Trump. So President Trump might, you know, kind of feel like he has to satisfy his promise to auto workers by protect, protecting those jobs. Douglas also expects Trump will roll back federal subsidies for automakers and tax incentives for consumers on EVs. And Wayne State's Merrick Masters says while it may appear Trump is anti-EV, he wouldn't go as far as to say that. What he's saying is, is let's not mandate it so directly through emission standards and let the market play a greater role in determining how this transition takes place. While GM, Ford, and Stellantis are all scaling back EV production based on demand, they are not abandoning the move to all EV lineups. But they are also promising hybrid options, along with keeping gasoline-powered vehicles in their lineups. Mike Woolfolk, MidMichigan Now.